Okay, so I thought I would do a little caravan update for you because we've had our caravan now about a week and we've done quite a few wee things to it to change it and spruce it up a wee bit. So yeah, we're actually really pleased with it. So today is Saturday and we go away on it in it on Tuesday. So we only had it for like a week really. So we were trying to get as much done as possible um, before Tuesday. Um, there's a few more things that we want to do to it but we don't really have time for this trip but we're going away again in August so anything we don't get done now we'll try and do in August but yeah I'll show you I'll show you what we've done to it so here we go so this is obviously our caravan Um, now ignore like the pieces of wood that are there <laughs> there and um, that has gone to our chair but um, yeah, we basically ripped out the carpet that's in the bathroom. I'll show you that in a wee second. Um, and we, yeah, we changed it because it was green and it just was a bit old. I didn't really like the color green. So per me, changed that up a wee bit, um, changed it to gray. Ideally, we'd love to change the carpet that's on the floor here to gray, but we'll do that the next time. Um, Paul also sanded down our cooker because it was a wee bit rusted in places. Um, so he sanded it down and then I painted it so it looks nice and fresh again and new. Um, we just basically cleaned everything. Um, I cleaned the carpets, I cleaned all the furniture, steam cleaned the curtains, cleaned out of the cupboards, we put in the TV, we made sure everything worked as well. So we hooked it up to the electric, we put the gas on, we got the fridge running, got the cooker running, got the heater going. The heater, the electric part of the heater is still not working so we need to fix that. But with the gas parts working so at least we'll have heat. Um, Mum has also given me two wee heaters as well to bring just in case. But we're good to go. I bought a fire extinguisher which is in there just in case. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the rest of the caravan. Okay, so yeah, this is the carpet that came with it. So I've just basically cleaned this whole carpet. But then I also bought a runner. Um, just because the carpet that's underneath is like... Um, it, it, there's no cushion in it so it's like matted down or like pushed down so it's really flat and quite hard so ideally I would like to change it at some stage to a light grey so then obviously this will be nice with the grey so at the minute it kind of looks a bit funny with the beige and grey but it's fine so the carpet is like fluffy um, and it has a wee bit of yellow in it which ties in with the furniture um, but I think it will look better if there's like um, a grey carpet underneath um, and then Underneath this, you see we had a like a wee trap door, which is for the spare wheel. Um, so I kind of wanted to cover that because it just looks a bit messy. So yeah. Um, also bought some pillows. Bought those two pillows there. So that matches that. It actually doesn't look as if it matches there, but it does. It's the same color. Um, this is my TV for my bedroom at home. Um, and then the yellow cushions I had in the house as well. So just to add a wee bit of a um, a lot of cushions in the caravan so got those cleaned our sink this is our cooker so I said it was completely rusted before so it just needs now there's a bit of dust on it so um, it's all repainted which is good and um, so I'll just give it a final dusting over we didn't get round to changing the sockets just yet but we will do those at some stage and um, I also bought like a little storage box because Whenever you're traveling, like all these just slide everywhere in the cupboard. So I got a wee box that just says kitchen on it and um, to put like plates and cups in and all plastic so that if it does fall, it's not gonna break. And then I bought a second one just that I'm gonna put like tins of food in and like pastas and things like that. Um, and as I said, there's the fire extinguisher. But yeah, it looks really good. We bought an awning, which is actually in under there, stored away. Okay, so I bought one of these. Um, so these are for damp. Um, caravans are prone to getting damp, so I just picked up one of those just in case. But thankfully, there's no damp in it yet, so that's a good sign. That's our wee heater, Mum gave us. Um, but yeah, it's looking really well. And like this pulls out as a wee table. It's cute. Um, what else? Cleaned out the fridge. So it's ready to go. It has some like rust on it that I cannot get rid of. I've tried bleaching, but it is completely clean a bacon soda in it to stop it smelling and then this is our bathroom so we changed the carpet in there as I said so now it's like nice and fresh looking so it's good and I bleached in here yesterday 
so everything's nice and clean. Um, Paul regrouted or like polyfilled all around the shower so it's not leak. So yeah, it's looking a lot better than what it was. Very happy with it. And then we put down a wee bit of grey there as well. There was a wee mat there for your feet, but it was like done. It was just dirty and stuff, so changed it to that. And then Paul also carpeted in there for pans. There was no carpet in there. It was just like a wee empty box thing, but it was all dirty. So I bought some new pans and put them in there. So yeah, we're basically ready to go. We just need to put in our stuff. So it's very exciting. Okay, so we started our journey <clears throat> in our caravan. It's on the height. And we made it to like halfway there maybe. And then I remembered I left a tub of baking soda in the fridge. <laughs> so opened tub of baking soda. So we just pulled in to get it out. Thankfully it hadn't tipped. I was afraid in case it all tipped and went everywhere. But Paul is putting on the mirrors because we also didn't put those on. Also it's raining so lovely. But Oh well, maybe it'll be nice when we get there. <laughs> Nearly all set up. You're doing very well. Your toys? Yep. <laughs> oh. Standing in poop. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Where does that take us? Hmm? Where does that take us? Wow, look at the beach. It says here you can see wheels on a clear day. I don't see any wheels. 
Tell him what just happened to me. What? Tell him what just happened to me. I got a egg better. <laughs> I got bit by a egg. <laughs> oh my leg. Is bleeding? Oh, of course. I'm bleeding. Stupid Craig. <laughs> Happy boy. Yeah, <laughs> right, first cycle. Aren't we? Uh, via the Dinky Donuts stand. <laughs> <laughs> Just ordered some Dinky Donuts. Right, try one. You can't come to Port Rush and not get one. Mm. <laughs> and you get a coffee, Coke. Nikki, yeah. No, that's not the way it works. That's not the way this whole thing goes. Mm. Like it. What, yeah, unreal? Just, just, you know. So good. We stopped for ice cream. I got a toffee sundae. Mm. And you got a caramel? No. One. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That's actually lovely. Do you want to try a bit of the caramel? No thanks. You want to try a bit of this? You can. <laughs> You just so quick. <laughs> We've had a lovely day. And now we're going to go for a walk around the cliffs. Of where? Of Ramwar Head. <laughs> Ramwar Head. Ramwar Head. And then we're booked in tonight to the Tides restaurant. Um, We tried last night to get into our favourite restaurant, but we couldn't get in. But we got it booked for Saturday night, so... We're excited about that, but we're booked into the tides tonight. I can't wait. It's gonna be good, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be great. This ice cream's well, lovely because it's soft. Show them where we're eating it up. Okay, we'll see the. I mean, it looks a bit wet. <laughs> it's also not focusing. Hold on, there's people walking. Yeah, it's really not focusing. But, we have a nice view. How has your caravan experience been so far, Paul? I am. It's been good. Been good? Just good? Really good. Really, really good. <laughs> yeah. It's been great. Yeah, better than I thought it would be, probably. Mm-hmm. We're converted now. We were campers before, as in like camped in a tent and loved it. And now we've got a caravan, we don't ever want to go to a tent again. No, <laughs> well, we only bought a new tent, but we have to <laughs> sell it or something. I think once you've been somewhere that has electric <laughs> and a fridge and a bit of comfort, then you don't want to go back to a tent. Mm. Maybe someday. We'll Maybe someday. It. Yeah. Right, we're going to finish the evening and go for a walk. Of course you don't, there are, there are no waves coming in. I know, let me wait for the next wave. So bright. 
It's really bright. I'm actually roasted. Are you ready to go? Yes. Ready to go. I'm actually starving, so yeah. We're very ready to go. Let's go. I'm ready. Of course, Paul's doing his hair. Always ready before him. And they say females take longer to get ready. Not true. Turn around, Paul. This handsome man ready for some food? Mm -hmm. Are you? He definitely is. Oh, yeah. We are both ready. Okay. We love it. It looks incredible. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Where else would you rather be? today to go to the Giants Causeway and we're so happy because online it said that it was going to be rainy today but we woke up and it's an absolute cracker every day so it's going to be lovely. It can be quite windy. Are you excited about this? Yeah this will be great. Yeah I haven't done this in a long time. It's going to be good. This is Port Naboo Bay. The little cows. Oh. Apparently, cows are put in the bay to keep the grass. distance there is Scotland. These rocks actually shouldn't be here. They came from up there during a lava flow, and there was an avalanche and it fell down. And those, wow. We just finished our audio tour of Giants Causeway. What do you think? That was a guided tour. I loved it. Guided and oh yeah, no, it wasn't audio. It was guided. <laughs> it was really, really good. It was really good. The sun's running away now though, and it's actually freezing. But 
I would have put it in the shorts and t-shirts as well. Yeah, <laughs> I was shorts and I was freezing. But it's class, like the views are unbelievable. So nice. We're going to see Finn McCool's boot. If we can get a wee photo on it. And I see there's kids sitting on it. But yeah, it was class. Do you feel Regan? Oh no, I had a my coat. Paul's on Finn McCool's boots. <laughs> and then way up there is the what? The piano pipes? Organ pipes? It's actually raining. Happy with that, aren't we? Paul looks handsome. That's the usual. Are they? Just blowing you back. Well, there's Paul coming flat out now. I don't really want to go in. Ha <laughs> ha 